G'day guys, welcome back to another episode of Wine for the People. This is Blind Wine Tasting, and this week we actually have some very special guests. Old Noah is actually uh, not in the studio today because he's actually made the big move and relocation to Melbourne, so he's gonna be our man on the ground in the Epicurean heart of Australia. We've got first up, bracket for this, Australia's best grape. But this week, we've actually called in a little bit of help from the guys from a much beloved wine brand called Delin Quinte. So we're talking about Greg, Mike and Millie, who will be in the studio for the next couple of episodes helping us determine what wines we would buy, how much we'd spend and how much we would buy of them. But it is time to start wine tasting. I'm Michael, I work for Delin Quinte and we're up here in Gamaraca to taste these wines. First time doing these uh, Doing these things, we've been watching it, watch it happen for quite a while. Personally believe that Australia's best grape is a white grape, but but that's cool, that's cool. We don't know what grape it is. More cream than strawberry on this one, which is cool. It is really just those the white part on those little lollies, like red on top, yellow, uh, white underneath. White, straight away, underneath. Rosé, pretty austere, it's not heaps of flavour to it. You can tell that by the colour as well. Like, I'm on a bit of a budget at the moment in life, I guess. So I'm probably, you know, not buying wines that are more than $30 a bottle at the moment. Yeah, heaps of acid, goes forever. I'm putting a price down, yeah? And how many bottles I'd buy. Yeah, um, $35. I don't know if I can pick the, pick the grape yet. I know that's not the idea. Yeah, I'll grab three bottles. Not a lot of those sort of points of interest here, but this is really just straight up and down. Cracking rosé, big love. That sweetness on the palate does kind of follow through, that strawberries and cream thing, which is kind of good. I think when you're giving wine to a person who doesn't really know much about wine, maybe not doing a bait and switch on them by having the nose and palate be inherently different things, which here, this is like, this is who I am. I ain't changing shit for you. <laughs> Wine number two, we have a pretty, like, pretty clear see-through wine. Wine number two. Ah, confidently ruling out Chardonnay is today's favourite grape varietal. The rest of these are all quite red. I mean, you'd probably say that the, the Australian grape is, is Shiraz, right? Or Syrah. I guess that's what I guess we would be known for. Soft tannins, not much oak, a little spicy. What happened here? <laughs> Fucking hell. Um, sort of acid just kind of lifting it and dancing along the palate. It never gets weighed down from the attack right through to the finish. And that finish is like quite long. Like it just keeps going, going. This is something masquerading as a Pinot and done really well. Oak on the finish just now. So it's taken me that amount of time from talking to that, recognizing it. That's the, that sort of length. We're talking like seven, eight, nine seconds. It's really quite impressive. Good tannin, um, like the right amount of tannin for me, like it's not ripping my face off, but definitely like corrugated iron going across the top of my tongue when I'm drinking that, which is cool. Yeah, it's got a bit of energy behind it, but still pretty light. $40 retail, yeah? Yeah, $40 and um, just two bottles for him. Do I need a new shirt? <laughs> no, I can roll with it. Do you think so, roll with it? I would happily launch a lot of money at this. I'm gonna say like 65 bucks and I would buy 12. That is a sleeper of a wine. That is a sleeper of a wine, that's fantastic. As to the variety, I'm gonna stay a little bit silent right now because now I'm kind of thinking Grenache. Wine number three. Uh, this has got some more sort of purple highlights in there, which is fun, very fun. Like if I was looking at that wine, I would go like Pinot territory, uh, but I don't think that first wine's Pinot. Uh, this wine's like much fruitier, much more lively than the previous. Probably a little bit more my style. And the last one, a bit, bit more savoury. Wonderful patchy tannins, super vibrant, super fun. A little bit more serious than the previous wine. Like I said, I'm launching a pretty penny at the previous wine, which sort of indicates that I would happily spend at this. This is really well crafted. Less grippy, still a nice sort of strawberries that have been blended with like fresh water running over a waterfall. Like that real clean sort of, you'd see it in a tourism ad for a state or wherever you're from. For us, it's Queensland in Australia. It's like the place that you go to get away and be in like tropical or even Northern Territory, where you see these wild waterfalls coming down off the side of cliffs. Less tannin than the previous, but still a little grippy like raspberries, boysenberries. Yeah, my style of drinking, I think. A bit fruitier and fresher. Uh, I'm gonna throw another 60 bucks this, I'm gonna buy 12. I think that is all class. If these are Syrahs, Syrah has definitely changed entirely in Australia. And that's a, typically a good thing. I'm still in that Shiraz Grenache territory. As I so often man, I need to learn more great. <laughs> Cool, wine number four. This looks like the 
biggest of the boys in terms of the color. That is quite a deep red. Yeah, again, more savory, a um, little bigger and maybe like a little older, whereas I'd probably say the last three wines would be current, current vintage 23 or 22. This maybe would look more like 21 or 22. Suave tannins. Oh man, and like really finely grained. Hit a padded all the way along your teeth. Fantastic. For some reason, oh fuck, this is really good. I'm, the, the grape variety is really kind of vexing me at the moment, to be honest. Like I'm, I'm sort of like sitting more firmly on Grenache. It smells incredible, tastes incredible. The tannin on it is fantastic. Really, really, really well done. Savory, like herby, fully loaded. Uh, no, uh, like. So I think this wine is, I'm gonna put it more um, $40. I think it's got a bit more oak to it, a bit more oomph and perhaps a little bit of age, but probably not my style. So maybe just one, one bottle. I mean, it's delicious. $45, $40, right. $45, one bottle for this one. I'll make a dozen. I'll drop 50 bucks on this and I'll buy 12. Uh, what, a, what an amazing wine. It ticks all the boxes and it's perfectly in the pocket of this like medium to light weight, which is not what I'd associate with Syrah. It is what I would associate with Grenache, but this doesn't smell like Grenache, but it smells like happiness. It's kind of a good thing. Let's go wine number five. Um, this look, I mean, how many different ways can I describe red? It's more of like a chartreuse sort of red than the last one, you know? Yeah. I'm talking about they're all red wines this this like the orange element in this to me makes me think about Pinot Noir yeah yum four five five bottles five bottles five bottles and it's um yeah like juicy and 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 a little jammy and and bright but um but I still think it's a, a serious drink a little bit more fruitier number there's there's a lot of white wine characteristics to this wine it's like nectarine and like I would almost say peach but like really overripe peach and apricot Oh, wow. It's like a, you had like stewed quince or stewed rhubarb or something, that really sort of tart but sweet sort of thing going on in the front of the palate. Yeah, $35. Is that about in the ballpark or is there wines that are like $100 on here? Yeah, maybe wine number four, the one that I think maybe is a little fancy, I'm gonna put back up to 50. It has a refreshment to a red wine that I think is really quite appealing. Absolutely incredible. All of these are really high acid. These could be Nero's, to be honest. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Very cool, very cool. Loving these, loving these wines. Wine number six, last but not least, hopefully age is what I'm getting from this. Um, yeah, this wine for me is um, maybe the most serious smelling of them all. And by the, the look of it, I reckon a, a bit of age. The, the most out of all of them. Marvellous complexity. These are fascinating. They have the mouth weight and shape of a Pinot. They have comparable tannin. They have some really great refreshing quality to, the, to, to these. Like I would almost, in some of these, I would actually say that in terms of a white wine, they're, they're very much uh, a white wine applicable. I'd say they're Grenache if it wasn't for the fact that the acids on these are quite searing. They're, they're quite vibrant. Wow. 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 Um, yeah, okay, so it's got this really bright, fruity thing at the front, and then it does taste like an aged wine. Yeah, I mean, special occasion wine. How many special occasions have you got? Three year, like when he died and when he was reborn and, <laughs> <laughs> and my birthday, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think it has already been held back a couple of years, but for me, maybe Menthea, but not Syrah, not Grenache, not Pinot, not the typical ones that I would I would usually associate with what is known as Australia's greatest red variety. Different drop think this is the best one in Australia, the grape varietal. I mean, like, playing the man, I watched one of their videos the other day and they were saying how much they love Shiraz, so I kind of just want to go with Shiraz, but some of these wines just aren't saying that to me. And see what everyone thinks. I'm, I'm done talking, you can say cut. <laughs> anyway, this wine here, I would throw uh, around about 40 bucks at, and I would buy three bottles. It's just not, uh, maybe, I could, I could be convinced to get six, but I, I'm gonna stick on three for now and see what the other guys think and sit on the fence a little bit. Only because like Grenache is like this thing that I've always been like, we've learned a lot about Pinot and we, we drink a lot of Pinot and we drink a lot of Shiraz in Australia, but then I'm just like, Grenache is always sits in this unknown for me. So, and it can be quite versatile for me. I feel like I can, like, hey, lots of different regions. Yeah, um, Grenache. Well done. Well done. All right, guys, six wines. Apparently the greatest grape from Australia. What did you guys think? I thought it was good. I thought there was some, um, yeah, generally quite light, quite fresh. I, especially like this one was probably my favorite. Um, yeah, <laughs> obviously a versatile grape. 
That's incredible. That was my least favorite one that we tried. Oh, really? Yeah, 100%, man. Um, it's definitely the least favorite as well. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> sorry to bring you on and just slam the one wine you like. Yeah, I thought... That works. I was, playing the, I was playing the man, not the ball a little bit here because I watched a different drop video recently and they were just banging on about how much they like Shiraz. So the whole time I was trying to convince myself that these were Shirazes. I did that as well and I, I didn't convince myself hard enough. Nah. Like, I can't see... I just can't see that these were Shiraz. No. Nah. Like, if they are, Shiraz it's a good too, bait and switch. Too easy of an answer. Yeah. I think yeah, so. Yeah. So what's your pick? Well. well, look, I went through the whole rigmarole of like, it looks like Pinot, right? Mm -hmm. But it doesn't smell like Pinot. Nah. And it smells a bit like Grenache, mm. but it's got really high acid. Mm. And I thought, oh, then it can't be Grenache. And I was like, I was in my head, I was like, Grenache, Grenache, Grenache. This is totally some kind of Grenache. Yeah. And then I ended up on Nero, and I still kind of feel pretty soft on that, to be honest, because some of these are like, like there's a lot of variation, the spiciness to like really yeah. fruit forwardness to like these really fun savory elements. I ended right. up going with Shiraz because I like easy answers. Yeah. <laughs> and I said Grenache. Wine number one. Wine number one. Hey, strawberries and cream. Yum. Yum. Rosé. Fine. Like yeah. it is what it is, does what it says it does, probably on the front of the bottle, and I thought it was actually really yummy. Um, I, I, I don't think it's very expensive. Ah. I, I, I'd hope it's not very expensive. We had this discussion over another rosé recently about like I'm looking for like a little bit more herbaceousness mm. and drive to kind of give that strawberries and cream a little bit more interest, but yeah, I think it's great. Simple man. one. Yeah, look, I bought six of it. I wanted to spend 22 bucks, maybe 25 bucks. I thought it was pretty good. I said 35 dollars, three bottles. Yeah, I, I said I wanted a dozen of it, but that's pending the fact that it is that sort of cheap, affordable rosé. So it needs to be in the yeah. 20s for me. I said 28. If it's 45 bucks, I'll buy one because there's other rosés I can buy for 20 bucks that taste like that. I think I've punched hard on my pricing. You actually can. You're like spending yeah. some dollars. I think 30 dollars is my smallest. So yeah, fair. How All much right. is it lot? It's in the slot. It's in yeah, that right. slot. We are on it. We are on it. Now we're about to find out the great variety of this whole bracket. What is it? Dude, Isn't it, I thought this was a blend of like Dolcetto um, and it's Grenache! He wins! He gets it! He gets the go. crown! The first, the first you, outing. Thank you. 100%. It's as, it's as if we've written it. Nah, that's insane, man. These are Grenaches? <laughs> that's wild. Is that even on, is that even on like camera? Is he so tall that his head's just... Fucking hope not. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we didn't have, have the wardrobe department set for someone as tall uh, It as was well. always just a process of elimination because Shiraz is too easy. It was not Pinot Noir. It's totally um, not Pinot. Um, too heavy. And Grenache is always like a grape that I've never known much about. Or, so it was a blind, blind guess. <laughs> Nailed it. Nailed it. Uh, number two. Uh, this is probably one of my favourites. I thought there was, I actually spent a lot of money on this, I, like on all of these wines, to be honest. Like I was really, really impressed with all of these wines. I spent 65 bucks on this. I wanted to buy 12. I thought this was just all class. I thought this was a really, really delicious, like white wine levels of refreshment here. Mm, mm. Yeah, the first three very much so, like in that sort of white space where you could drink them chilled even potentially. Um, I thought this was from a cooler climate. That's why it was sort of that really nice uh, sort of mineral, easy drinking thing. I wanted yeah. six bottles. I was going to spend 35 bucks on it. Yeah, I said $40, two bottles. Yeah. Only two. Yeah, uh, I, I honestly cannot remember. It feels like an hour ago that I fucking did this. Fair point. How much, how much was but, it like, like, Definitely cooler, brighter, fresher. Mm. Yeah. You just want a four. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I said I was on a budget. I don't know if this is like <laughs> yeah, in, in a world where I am allowed to buy whatever I want or whether I'm... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it would be funny matter. if when you went to matter. leave, we hit you up with a square reader and we're like, so yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Italians, yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna take that off you. Uh, how much was it, Lucky? Oh, That's shit. a good oh, wine for 28 bucks. Good wine for 28 bucks. Dude! We've had these. Uh, we we've had, had these recently. Yeah, we did. Uh, Noah brought in a couple of bottles uh, when he went to Cellador Fest, and he was like, "We've actually got a, like an unopened bottle sitting downstairs that we picked up." Good to know. Legends uh, as well, um, doing some really, really yummy, delicious things. Yeah, coming in under thirty-eight bucks. That's what yeah. going to cost you seventy at a restaurant. So great value yeah. all around. Hundred yeah. percent, absolutely. It's definitely um, good like restaurant pouring wine. Mm. Totally. Yeah, that glass. is that is like that's the wine I want to see on every pub list. 100%. Yeah. That's what I'll be drinking at any pub. I drink that. Number three? I drink this too. I drink a lot of this. This, I I, I messed up. That wasn't my least favourite. I bought a dozen of oh, that as well. Oh, thank God. This is my least favourite of the bunch. What? You're just saying that because you know that I've got a bit of a palette now. I've got a hat <laughs> yeah, on. Yeah, you've got a hat yeah, on. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, I want to follow him. I want to follow him. <laughs> 
Um, no, I thought, yeah, this was where I, I was still tossing up between Shiraz and Grenache at this point and then just gave up on uh, Grenache eventually. I don't know. For me, I was just want yeah, stealing that from you. I just wanted a little bit more out of this one, I think. I really enjoyed the last one. I really enjoyed the ones towards the end, but this mm. sort of just got lost amongst things a little bit for me. So I got three bottles for 32 bucks. That's one of those things with like a lineup. I actually thought this lineup was like really, really strong just yeah. in general. Like a lot of these wines kind of get lost amongst the mix a little bit. So you thought it was a bit of a value play. Like you'd still uh, buy yeah, yeah, a quantity yeah, 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 yeah. of it because you can see like a good use to be drinking. I'm thinking a like you've got a dinner party and you're like, they're not your best mates or maybe it's, you know, the third bottle and you just yeah, and then fodder wine. Yeah. Hundred percent a real thing. Wait real for change. it to be seventy bucks. How much is it like? Hey, ten. Oh yeah. June head. Turkey flat. Simple names this week. I like Simple it. Simple names, yeah. Simple people up in the browser. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, There's some classic wines on the on the site. Alex Head is the um, yeah. uh, the winemaker here, uh, and there's a lot of old vine Grenache uh, up in the browser. The browser is kind of. I'll be fair, like like I am. I will admit to Barossa shaming sometimes because mm. it is kind of like, you know, your dad's wine and stuff the like that. At least trendy. Yeah. 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 And and it used to be from the most trendy, like, like Big Four from Grace yeah. here. But if my old man opened that. Oh, thrilled. Yeah. Absolutely stoked. 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 Yeah, 100%. It's definitely the cool. wine region that I tell my friends to go to the least, you know, that they visit South yeah. Australia. Yeah. Like, go to the Adelaide Hills or. Hills or the Vale. Yeah, yeah go somewhere 100%. a bit lighter, but for dad or for the right people. Yeah. Yeah, target amazing, audience. Amazing, amazing one. Number four. One number four. This is where it became a little bit more fun for me, I reckon. It was a little bit more primary. You reckon? Yeah. Man, oh, I missed that. I thought, I thought the opposite. Yeah, oh, you went, oh, the oak, the lashings of oak. Yeah, I think yeah. There's, there's oak in there. I, I said that there was maybe age, maybe. Now looking at that, that's, that, a more that's definitely that's age. AG, but yeah. This perhaps not, but uh, was the one, $55 I said, but I said I'd only buy a bottle of it. It's not my, not my type of drinking. Oh man, this is like if, you know, you get that itch sometimes, like once a year that you just got to scratch. That's that's the itch, you know. Yeah, it's just, I just want want a big warm hug of a wine. Yeah, 100%, that's what it is. Like it's, it's great and it's fine for that. I still bought six bottles of it, but it just wasn't the thing that, these next two were the ones that really stood out for me, I think. Um, I wanted to spend 45 bucks. I thought it was Hot Climate and Herbie. I've had six bottles of it coming home with me. Well, I was on 50. 12 bottles, please. How much we got, Lockie? Swinny. Swinny. Oh. Hey, that's really good. We actually um, weren't the greatest fans of uh, one of the uh, Swinny wines the other week. Mm, and it's hard to see. like it. Yeah, yeah. We were, um, it was the rosé. Uh, I oh, seem to remember. Yeah, really, yeah. really expensive rosé. Um, but this, I think, is so appropriately priced as well. I, like, sleeper, little, I mean, uh, appropriately rated WA, I think but like a bit of a sleeper region for a lot of people. They yeah, don't immediately sure. think Grenache, WA. Nah, you know. not at all. There's a really nice Riesling or something that they make. I don't know if that's mm. what you had the other day. Mm, I think it was, I think we had their pink thing. Their pink thing, their rosé, yeah. But it was, like, it was like 80 bucks or something like that. Right. And we're yeah. like, all oh, right. Hard to justify. Yeah, that. Up there. And a lot of people, we copped a bit of flack online actually where people were like, you should try the Swinney this, you should try the Swinney that. Well, we tried the Swinney this and we really did like that. It. it was really good. Cool. This is some hot shit now. One number five. Really? Can go, man. Oh, you yeah, like you it? Me? Yeah. I, 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 the next two, it's really funny because like you guys are, have spoken about the, these last two and I'm like, I was neither here nor there. This is where the action really happened for me. Mm. But like up here, I don't know, either either I was off, there was, there's something we can talk about at this point, but like this here. Yeah, this is the wine that I bought the most of, five bottles. I thought it was like, like that without the oak. Yeah, sure, sure, like sure. A lot more primary, a lot more fruit forward. Yeah. Yeah, minty, fresh. Mm. Mm. Had this really cool, I think it was this one, not the last one, had this mm. really cool like first hit of like stewed rhubarb or stewed sort of quince or something. Yeah, a really tart thing at the front, which I was super into. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, thought I think was... I said car carbonic maceration, I think I, I suggested on that one, that ju juby oh, no freshness. Yeah, much smarter than I am. Welcome to your channel. No. It is like an hour. <laughs> um, I really liked it. I wanted to spend 50, this is the one I spent the most money on. I said 58 bucks. I thought it was super classy from a hot Aussie region on a dozen of it. I said, yeah, 35, but the most bottles, five bottles. Nice. Mm -hmm. 35 and six. Yeah. This is going to be maybe a Dengara. High sand Grenache. Panel! Let's oh. see. Smart oh, Grenache, 100%. Winemaker with the Midas touch, this fella. I like the wine. Um, yeah, yeah. I don't fuck with that label though. Really? Yeah, I think that looks really like I just don't like that font down there. It makes me think of like a cafe for dogs or something that you would have like little <laughs> baby chinos. <laughs> I don't know, man. I just, that font doesn't do it for me. 
Um, it's the same font as all of the other wines, so it's a, it's a, it's a big insult to the whole Sorry, thing. Final, bye. <laughs> now you guys were big into this. And yes. I, I big was not into this. I misread my notes. I, I when I said I didn't like this, it was the second tasting. So this one I was super about. Like it's definitely aged. It's got like that thing where you just look at it in the eye and you can tell it hasn't got the soul of a young wine anymore. It's spent some time in bottle. Uh, I wanted a dozen of them. I want to spend fifty bucks. What, why don't you like it? Uh, well, there are a few reasons. Okay. Uh, yeah. One is, I think, I think I think it's either had premature oxidation, it's brown, uh, nothing wrong with brown wine, but it's Love like it. it's like significantly browner than I think it should be. I yeah. think it's got VA, I think it's got bread. I think it's got VA a little bit. Um, yeah. And it's got kind of like a vinegar aspect to it. So I was like, I actually really? put three, but I could be convinced for a little bit more, I but there was just something cool. that was like, Smelled a lot nicer about an hour ago. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it has got a little bit more vinegary, but I, want, I, I imagine this is probably sealed under cork, and I imagine it's either had like a lot of age to it. <laughs> well, there's nothing wrong with VA. Nothing wrong with VA. It's a good VA. It's I still think yeah, it's, it's I, like, I, got a, it's, I got a pretty high threshold to it. You know, there's a, a little tickle that yeah. I don't mind. Sniffer mum's nail polish as a kid. Yeah, yeah. you and me both. All right. Well, I, I was still willing to pay forty bucks and buy three of it. I was still keen. Mm. 50 for a dozen, a dozen $50. dollars Three King. bottles. Uh, maybe now I'm thinking like it, it, it appears like it should be an expensive wine, but perhaps like a... Often expensive wines will look like this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. often. How much was it, Lucky? What's that? Cool. Who is that? Hey, talk about a label. That's a label. That is a label. Brash Higgins. Sorry, Brad. <laughs> I really love you, but... Of course I'm it's so $80. Sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, and you know what's really interesting? These are from the same vineyard. Yeah, cool. Same vineyard. These are from the same vineyard. I've never uh, seen this before. What year is that wine? And they're both from the same year. What? What yeah. year is that? That is 2021 Grenache from the Smart Vineyard in Clarendon. This is 2021 Grenache from the Smart Vineyard in Clarendon. Man, I thought that was going to be old. These two wines could not be further apart in style. No, that's mad. That is a really, really, really cool way to actually showcase them side by side. And I'm sure there was a bit of bit of thinkery going on at the different drop HQ in, in putting those in front of us. I am definitely pro SC Pinnell. There is just a purity there that um, mm. uh, I think there's, there's, it's what Noah and I would say about this one, it's going fast around the corner, mm. you know, just maybe a little bit too fast. Whereas this one's hugging the line. You what's know, your, well. what's your wine of the lineup then? What was your favorite thing? To I drink? would definitely buy that again. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I'd take, take that um, home. Um, yeah, probably wine of the lineup. Um, for value for money and for no what what do you what do you, you have one of these six wines to choose from yeah you just want I think it for me the, the june the, the june. june the june yeah. yeah i was 12 on the june i was i was half a dozen i'm pretty happy with that that was delicious that was awesome that was a good value play guys grenache six different ways and is it australia's best <sighs> uh, i like it but it's like, pretty I'm, good <laughs> it's pretty good but i think it's Versatile, Versatile. viticulturally, yeah. grows really well. I mean, we can see it all the way from obviously rosé right up to uh, vinegar. So it's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. Thank you. Thanks see you next week. Me. Ciao.